In this video, we will discuss about the electrical circuits and circuit elements. Let us first look into the need for an electric circuit. An electric circuit is an interconnection of various electric elements that contains at least one closed path in which current can flow. An electric circuit is used as a component for any engineering system. The performance of any electrical device or machine is always studied by drawing its electrical equivalent circuit. By simulating an electric circuit, any type of system can be studied, for example, mechanical, hydraulic, thermal, nuclear, and etc. The analysis of any system can be learned by mastering the techniques of circuit theory. There are two types of electric circuits based on the type of current they use DC circuits and AC circuits. DC circuits. DC circuits use direct current, DC. Direct current is a form of electrical current, or voltage, that flows around an electrical circuit, in one direction only, making it a, unidirectional, supply. For example, plus 12 volts, DC current, represents 12 volts of DC current, in the positive direction and, a minus 5 volts DC current, represents minus 5 volts of DC current, in the negative direction. The DC voltage, or current, has a fixed magnitude, that is, amplitude, and a definite direction associated with it. AC circuits use alternating current, AC. Alternating current AC describes the flow of charge, around an electrical circuit, that changes direction periodically. The current periodically changes its direction, from positive to negative. As a result, when the current changes its direction, from positive to negative, the voltage level also reverses its direction. The AC current, is used to deliver power to houses, office buildings, and etc. The elements in electric circuits are divided into two types. Passive elements. And, active elements. Passive elements. The passive elements of an electric circuit do not possess energy of their own. They receive energy from the sources. Examples of passive elements are resistor, inductor, and capacitor. When electrical energy is supplied to a circuit element, it will respond in one and more of the following ways. If the energy is consumed, then the circuit element is a pure resistor. If the energy is stored in a magnetic field, the element is a pure inductor. Magnetic field. It is an exerted area, around the magnetic force. And, if the energy is stored in an electric field, the element is a pure capacitor. Electric field. It is generated around the particles, which obtains electric charge. Active elements. Active elements possess energy of their own, and can supply it to other elements of the circuit. Examples of active elements are, voltage source, and current source, generators. A voltage source, has a specified voltage across its terminals, independent of current flowing through it. A current source, has a specified current through it, independent of the voltage appearing across it. In this video, we have discussed about the electrical circuits and circuit elements.